Okay, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on the snow here. It's finally melting some. I have never, ever enjoyed the sound of melting ice like I am doing right now. The sun is beaming, thank God. Um, the last time I posted, I think, what was that, Saturday? The lights went out. My lights just came back on. The power just came back on um, yesterday. So that was several days without power. My children actually made it through the snow to come and get me because I couldn't charge my phone anymore. I was actually keeping warm inside of my car. And on day three, they showed up and um, we made it back to their place. They had lights, but no um, water. And um, they're still out of water. They brought me back home last night. My, you know, my daughter and my son-in-law lives like eight to 10 minutes away. It took us an hour um, both ways to, um, I don't know if y'all can hear that, that ice is melting, thank God. So there, where I am in the condominium, um, in the condo complex, um, come to find out we're not all on the same grid. Literally, I have power and water and like the building across from me, they don't have lights and they don't have water. That is so sad. And I feel bad because it's a lot of elderly people over here. Um, but it's starting to melt. Um, they sent some people in from what I'm hearing from Florida to pave our streets um, so we can start driving a little bit and everything's still shut down. So the water, even though my water is on, it's milky. So we're having to boil the water. <clears throat> so it's, it's still a little bit unbelievable that this is happening. And um, yeah, I've been he hearing a lot of talk about the harp machine. You guys look it up, H-A-A-R-P machine. That's um, that's in discussion. And the fact that we were not prepared for this, that's a whole nother story. Um, I'm just glad that, I'm just glad that we can start um, looking forward to a little bit of normalcy. This was crazy. People are talking about how, oh, we get cold all the time. You know, y'all can deal with it. Like, look, I'm like, hold on. First of all, you're not in these temperatures with no power for days, no way to get food. No, a lot of people with no water. You have people that actually died, you know? So I'm just glad I'm back home. My heater is on and, um, I'm warm and I literally feel bad for people that's directly across from me that still has no power and busted pipes. Um, I'm gonna go to the HOA office up here in a little while. I'm gonna take some blankets cause there are um, still people up there that's getting warm. And uh, that beats letting a lot of strange people in my house but I can help some kind of way. But yeah, this is just out the back window. This is not even the front. It's just, it's still really bad. Again, you still have like thousands of people without power. Um, the surrounding areas, like back at home in Houston, they're still down. Um, my, like my sister, she has her lights now, but she, she, I mean, she has a power now, still no water. You have people checking into hotels, but then they're doing price gouging with the hotels, trying to make money. So it's a bad situation. The stores um, didn't have power. They lost all the produce. So you can't get vegetables and you can't get um, fruits or anything like that. Um, yeah, so literally in a lot of places, you'll see lights on at one house and across the street, it's dark. So um, lights are going on and off. Thank God my lights have been on for a straight 24 hours. My neighbor called me last night and told me that the lights had been on for um, a whole day. So I, I trusted it and I'm home now. So um, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. This has been um, um, Aircot is the one um, that you guys should look up. Come to find out, Texas is the only state um, in the country that's on this own little power source. So when things like this happen, we can't borrow from other states or our neighboring states like the rest of the states. So that has been exposed. And 2021 is just that year of exposure, whether it's to do with people, places, things, whatever, you, period, me, period. We're learning different things about different situations and we do need to pay attention and wake up, y'all. There's so much happening. We, Texas had a blizzard. People died. You know, people are still without power and that right there cannot go unnoticed and it will not go unnoticed. Um, yesterday, it had the nerve to snow again. <laughs> what? You know what I mean? Like, it's, this is just, 
damn ridiculous. So, um, yeah, just an update. Home, safe, warm. I am not showing you guys my face because I am all the way in chill mode right now. I'm so glad to be home. And I'm so glad this part is I do hate that um, I do so many of my loved ones still, you know, are without power and water. Um, I sat in here for three days. It's funny how, well, it's not funny and it's not a coincidence um, because I know I'm looked over. But um, my car, I've been warming up in my car and it ran out of gas. It was running out of gas. I just had a little bit of gas left. That's how I was charging my phone. That's how I was going out to get warm. And I didn't have any more gas and that was it. So I was charging my phone. I wasn't complaining. I just was accepting it. I was charging my phone and my devices and I knew that was the last time I can charge. And um, this was on what, what is today? Friday, I've lost the day. It's Friday, Tuesday and I was in the car and I was done charging it. Um, I turned it off so it can charge and apparently my daughters had been calling me, my daughter, and they were worried because I hadn't been answering. They knew I was over here without anything and um, I looked up, I was done, I turned off the car because I didn't pass E, like I, it was done. And they, a car pulled up with more ice on it than paint and my children found a way to get to me. And I'm thankful for that because beyond that night, I didn't have, um, I didn't have anything else. I had nothing else. My neighbors left, they left me their propane tank. Um, they found a way out and um, yeah, so. I'm thankful, I'm grateful, and I do really feel bad for the people that's still going through this. Um, yeah, I'm sitting in the middle of a huge complex in my building, and maybe one behind me has power and water, and pretty much all the ones around us are still down. <laughs> but God. You guys have a wonderful day.